Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm back with another productive vlog. This vlog in particular will be framed around my move because I am moving out of this apartment and as of right now, I have zero things packed and I just got some boxes. So hopefully that will help me kickstart this packing process. And in addition to that, I also will be traveling for a little bit before moving into my new place. So I need to pack my luggage and just grab some miscellaneous things for the trip as well. So as you can tell, there's quite a lot of things that need to get done. And it's a little difficult for me to verbalize every single task this time around. So I'll just leave y'all with my bucket list of to-dos over here so you can read through them. And I'll also be checking them off as I complete them throughout the video. And with that, let's just get started. All right, the first thing that I needed to do was to assemble some boxes. So much fun, I know. A family member kindly donated some recycled boxes and packing tape, so I didn't need to purchase any of that. I've accumulated a bunch of stuff just over this past year, so I was quite worried that I wouldn't have enough boxes to hold everything, but it worked out in the end. Side note, something about putting these boxes together was also extremely therapeutic. While I was making my boxes, I got a ring downstairs for a package and it's from Cotton. And I was expecting this, so I like ran downstairs to retrieve it. Ooh. Cotton is very kindly sponsoring today's video. So a big thank you and shout out to them. I've previously worked with them before, but if you're new to my channel or new to Cotton, they are a brand that focuses on conscious consumption and creation. They create their pieces using the finest natural fibers, which will biodegrade at the end of their life cycle. So the first piece that I got is this woman's polo. And this piece is made out of 100% cotton. It's super soft. And then I also got the matching joggers to go with it. These are high-waisted joggers, also 100% cotton. And I think this set is just going to be the perfect loungewear for at home, for travel, for anything that involves comfort. And it's also super stylish. And I also picked up a pair of jeans. These are their anti-fit denim jeans and I got it in the light wash. It also comes in a dark wash as well. I'm pretty picky with my jeans, but I actually really love how these look on me. The fit is amazing. I think Cotton has just mastered creating pieces that looks good and is flattering on all different body types. So that was it. If you're interested in any of these pieces that I just mentioned, you can use the link in my description box down below to check them out. And you can also use my code JuliaFay20 for 20% 20 off your next purchase. One thing that's not super apparent about moving is that you need to cancel your utility subscriptions. Thanks for calling Verizon. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality and security purposes. I was able to easily stop my gas and electricity service online, but I needed to call over the phone to stop my Wi-Fi. Yes, hi. I'm gonna be moving out of my apartment, so I'd like to stop my service. Next, it was finally time to start filling up some of the boxes. Packing the initial batch of items is always the hardest for me. I don't know why. Probably because it feels like there's an awkward empty space now or that I'm ripping apart all of my hard work. But after I get over that, I started to really get into the groove and started to hustle. Soon enough, my shelves were empty and I was able to slowly start making some progress.
Like I mentioned previously, I needed to pack for a trip and I wanted to go buy some small travel sized items. I love going to TJ Maxx or Marshalls for these things and ended up finding some cute luggage tags and travel sized tubes to put my liquids in. I also dropped by Home Depot because I needed to pick up a softer material to wrap my dishware in so that they don't break during the move and some covers as well for my couch and my mattress. Today, I actually requested a full day off of work just to pack, so you know that it was crunch time. I started off with packing my luggage because it was easier to pick out all of the items that I need first and then pack everything else later. I've been hearing lots of news and stories about lost luggage and got super anxious about it, so I daringly tried to fit everything I would need for the next four weeks in a single carry-on. If you know me, I am not a light packer by any means, but I am a good packer. I use these manual press and seal bags for my clothes, and although they're not as strong as the actual vacuum seal bags, it did help me save a little space. I also sealed a duffel bag just in case I buy more things abroad than intended, which will probably happen. And when that does, I can just put the new items in the duffel bag and check it in. A trick that I like to use while packing is to stuff my handbags with smaller things like toiletries or intimate items. The key is to compartmentalize and use up every little empty space. On to the not so fun part, which is cleaning out my closet. Taking each piece off the hanger and folding it was honestly so terrible, but it had to be done. Clothing pieces are soft and flexible, so I use trash bags to store them instead of boxes. The last task of the day was to start disassembling my furniture. When I work with furniture, I like to wear long, durable pants just in case I land on any screws or nails, and these cotton jeans really came in clutch. Disassembling the furniture was where my apartment really started to transform. 
it felt like I was rewinding my apartment decoration by 1x speed and the space slowly reverted to its previous state. But now it's just an uglier and messier version because it's filled with a bunch of bags and boxes. I took a quick shower and my boyfriend ended up coming over for dinner and to also help me pack for the rest of the night. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next vlog to watch the finale of this packing and moving process.